European Union insider and MEP, Philippe Lamberts, told Express.co.uk that he cannot be friends with prominent Brexiteers as the UK and EU secure a deal. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen has announced that the UK and the EU have reached a fair deal after months of haggling. Prime Minister Boris Johnson is also set to make an announcement today just days before the transition periods end on January 1. Reports suggest Mr Johnson is confident that he can win over Brexiteer MPs in the Conservative Party as the anti-EU European Research Group ERG, turn to their lawyers to scrutinise the deal. While most of the group are set to back a deal, it has emerged that as many as 20 ERG MPs could be planning to vote the deal down. Nigel Farage, prominent Brexiteer and leader of the Brexit Party, tweeted his anger about the deal. He said, it sounds like the British team has dropped the ball before the line. No wonder they want a Christmas Eve announcement to hide the fisheries sellout. Even if Mr Johnson can win round Brexiteers in the UK, Belgian MEP Philippe Lamberts tells Express.co.uk that some in the EU may never forgive Mr Farage and former vote leave chief Dominic Cummings. The co-president of the European Greens said he cannot be friends with the Brexiteers who lied about the facts. He said, to voters I would say I understand their anger, it's not like they made it up, so many areas were left behind so yes I understand that. But was Brexit the right answer to that question? I would say no. I do resent those who likened the EU to the Soviet Union. We are not forcing the UK to stay. We want to remain good neighbours, but the politicians who advocated for Brexit, many of them lied about the facts. I wish them all the best to face the consequences of what they wanted, because the future for the UK won't be as rosy as they say it will. I can't be friends with the likes of Nigel Farage, Ian Duncan Smith or certainly Dominic Cummings. Mr Lamberts also hit out at Prime Minister Johnson, branding him the ultimate opportunist. He added, the question is, is Boris Johnson for real or is he just saying what is convenient to say? My perception of him is that he is the ultimate opportunist. What interests him is to occupy interests of power, not to rule not even to govern. He likes to occupy power, not to wield it. 